Hey everybody, it's Arianita La Gringa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about makeup vocabulary. But if you're a man, you can still learn a lot of English vocab, especially if you have a wife, a girlfriend, or a daughter, because women love makeup. And in today's video, I will teach all of you makeup vocabulary at Sephora. What is Sephora? Sephora is one of the most common stores where you can buy and find a lot of makeup products. Also, I want to ask you guys, do you guys have a Sephora in your city or country? Let me know down below. What is makeup? Makeup is used to enhance or alter our appearance. So that just basically means it makes us feel and look beautiful. Now, what are the steps? The first step is primer. Let's go ahead and find some primer. So what is primer? Well, this is primer and it acts as the base of your makeup application. So think of primer like this. Imagine you were painting a wall. Well, you need a primer or a base coat. So the paint primer or the base coat will help the paint last longer. This is kind of what makeup primer does. It will prime the face and it'll allow my makeup to last a lot longer. And the great thing about this store is you can actually put on makeup or apply makeup. So I can squirt out some primer on my hand and test it out and see if I like it before I buy it. Primer is very hydrating, so now look at the difference between both hands. This hand is a lot more hydrated than this one. After applying primer on your skin, you have your base coat ready. And now you're ready for the next step, foundation. So this is foundation. And what is foundation? Foundation is a liquid that is the same color as your skin. So you'll apply foundation to your face and to your neck. Because remember, some parts of our face and our neck may be a different color. You might have some spots on your skin. So when you apply foundation, foundation will cover these spots on your face or your neck. And it'll make it look like one color. Also, I want to ask you, how much do you think a liquid foundation costs? This costs $42 and this would probably last me around three to four months if I used it every day. Also, foundation is used for your skin and everyone has a different color of skin. So that is why they have a wide range of colors. Now I'm going to find my skin color since I'm very pale and try to match it to my face and my neck. I think I'm a shade 2N because that is the second lightest color. Let me see it on my hand. And since there is a mirror, I can apply it to my face. I'm applying foundation to my face. And I have a beauty sponge. And right now I am blending it. I think this is my color because it blends evenly with my face and my neck. Now let's go to the third step. After applying primer and foundation, the third step is concealer. This is concealer and it's used to conceal or hide your imperfections. For example, you can apply concealer under your eyes to cover your dark circles or you can apply concealer on your chin if you have dark spots or acne. And if you have any redness on your face, you can use concealer. Like foundation, these concealers have a wide range of colors because remember, everyone's skin is different. And I normally like to have a lighter concealer under my eyes and that will brighten my eyes. When you apply concealer, you apply it directly on your face or on the spots you want to cover. And once you apply concealer, you can rub it in with your fingertips or you can rub it in with a brush. So this is a concealer brush and it'll just rub everything in and make your face look better. The next word is powder. This is powder and I like to apply powder to my face to make it less oily. For example, I apply powder to my T-zone. So to my forehead, my nose, and my chin, that is called the T-zone because those are the areas of the face where you have the most oil glands. When I apply powder, I apply it to those areas. So you normally use powder to make your face less oily and less shiny. So to apply it, you need a brush and then you'll just tap it in, the powder, and then you'll apply it on your face. And the next vocab word is this. What is this called? You use this to apply it to your cheeks 
and it makes your cheeks pink and red. This is called blush. Blush! So this is a liquid blush, and over here, this is a cream and powder blush. And why do you use blush? Well, I use blush to make my cheeks a pink or red color. I personally like to apply blush right above my cheekbones, right here. The next word is highlighter. These are two different types of highlighter. This is a pink shimmery color, and this is a gold shimmery color. And what is highlighter? Well, you can apply it to the highlights of your face, like your nose, your eyebrow. You can also apply highlighter above your lip and above your cheekbone, and that'll make your face stand out and glow. Now, what is this called? This is bronzer. Bronzer, it'll give you a sun-kissed glow. It'll basically make you look like you have a suntan. She looks like she has a suntan because she uses bronzer above her cheekbones and right around the edges of her forehead. Now, what is this called? This whole thing is an eyeshadow palette and this is eyeshadow. So you apply eyeshadow to your eyelids. This is my eyelid and it'll bring color to my eyelids. So I can apply it with an eyeshadow brush. I am applying eyeshadow to my eyelids. There are multiple eyeshadow colors. I personally like a neutral color, so I'll go with like a white and a tan and a brown. And the next vocab word is eyeliner. This is eyeliner and you'll line your eyes, your upper eyelash line or your lower lash line, and this will define your eyes. So come over here and we can try it out. So I'm going to apply eyeliner, this is a pencil, to my upper lash line. So basically, you just make a line. And can you tell the difference between both eyes? This eye has eyeliner and this eye doesn't have eyeliner. I basically just defined this eye. Now I will apply eyeliner to this eye so they both look normal. <laughs> Now, can you guys tell me what this is called? This is mascara. Mascara. And you apply it to your eyelashes. I already have mascara on my eyelashes, but mascara will lengthen, darken, and thicken your eyelashes. Mascara will make your eyes look bigger because your eyelashes are longer. Inside this store, you can apply makeup to your face. Well, I'm not going to use this mascara wand because I don't want to get an eye infection, so I'm going to apply mascara with a clean wand. I am applying mascara to my eyelashes. Now I bet you guys know what this is called. And you normally apply it to your lips. It gives your lips a bit of color. This is a red color, so it'll brighten my lips. And this is the last product I will apply to my makeup look. This is lipstick, and this is a red lipstick, so it'll make my lips bright red. Over here, they have different colors. This is a pink color, this is a coral, and this is a bright red. Lipstick will define your lips and will make them look bigger and fuller. And right next to these lipsticks, what is this? Well, you can open it up and you can apply it on top of your lipstick. This is lip gloss. Lip gloss is a liquid that you will apply to your lips to make them look shiny or glossy. And it is glossy and sticky. So if I were to put it on my lips, it would make my lips really sticky. <laughs> and over here, they have even more lip glosses. But behind these lip glosses, they have brand new lip glosses in this package. So I obviously wouldn't buy this because other people can use it in the store. I buy a lot of makeup at this store and last time I was here I bought a lot of things and now I have a $15 coupon but I want to show you guys this right here. These are false lashes and it'll make my lashes look even longer and my eyes look even bigger. When you have makeup on your face that means you are wearing makeup. 
I am wearing makeup. So to remove my makeup, I will use a makeup remover and I need a cotton pad and then I'll pour some of this makeup remover on this cotton pad and then I'll clean my face. I like using makeup remover because it'll allow my pores to breathe, I'll have a fresh face, and it'll help prevent acne. So if I don't clean my face, if I don't wash my face, then I can get acne and dark spots and I don't want that. So that's why I always clean my face and I never go to sleep with makeup. From my last purchase at Sephora, I have a $15 coupon to spend. So of course they sell makeup inside the store, but they also sell things for your hair and skincare for your face. So I'm going to look around the store and see what they have. Okay everybody, I hope you all enjoyed this video about makeup vocabulary. And I finally bought something from Sephora. So I used my coupon and I bought myself a hair conditioning mask for my hair. And then with the coupon, I got a free gift. I got some lip gloss. Go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!